what's up guys we are heading out to grab some stuff for some chili uh, for game day but while we're out I think we're gonna try and see if we can um, find some GI Joe classifieds I'm gonna pop into Target real quick see if the the bats and the, um, the Viper have come in yet we've not not seen those around here um, show up at all yet so Maybe I'll get lucky when we go in and we'll come across those. Also going to see if they've got any in the retro line. I don't think, I remember right, Target doesn't carry the retro line. It's just Walmart, but I've not seen a whole lot of those um, in the area. I did pick up a Cobra Trooper off of Whatnot, Whatnot the other day. Um, so that should be coming. Um, also, stay tuned because Matt and I are going to have a huge um, G.I. Joe lot um, or G.I. Joe haul um, coming in. Uh, we got into an auction the other day and... Um, both of us were able to pick up quite a bit of things, so we should have a really good video coming for that. Um, but we'll get out here to Target and see what they have. And then um, I think after that, we're going to pop over to the clubhouse and look into some of the vintage GA bats. And we don't find the Viper at Target. I'm hoping that they still have a Flint. Um, I don't have Flint. I looked at picking up Lady J the other day, but. I've been concentrating more on the vintage line than I have a classified, so, but I do want Flint while he's still able to, to be grabbed in the area, so um, I'll get back with you guys when we get there. Alright guys, no vipers and no bats. Just a bunch of Lady J's and Baroness. Some of those are cool. Just try not to go down that line right now. Pretty pick through. Those are the legends. Magneto's pretty cool. Hold off on Lady J because I'm going to hit it up another spot, um, a flea market close by, and see if they got something. I'll catch up to you guys here in just a little bit. All right, guys, struck out in Target. They did not have any bats, any vipers. Didn't have Flint, which we were after. Um, they did have one Baroness and several Lady J's, but um, I feel like I can get those just about any time. I don't have them yet, but. Um, I'll add those at a later date. So, struck out there. I mean, I did go check the NECA section and I went and checked the other toy aisles. Unfortunately, that Target was super busy and there were people up and down every single aisle. So, what little I was able to record um, was whenever I had just a little bit of, of time to do some, do some uh, recording while there was nobody else in the aisle. Um, but it was jam-packed in there today so we're gonna head on over to the clubhouse and there's a flea market right next to the clubhouse um, Matt actually had one of the vendors in there set back um, a breaker um, in the classified series for him um, a couple weeks ago hopefully it's still there so I'm gonna pop in there try to grab that for him see if he's got any other classifieds I might be able to pick up that I don't have and then uh, we'll pop over to the clubhouse and uh, look through some of the vintage stuff and see what we can potentially grab. So I'll uh, get back to you guys here in just a little bit. Hey guys, flea market was closed. We're going to the clubhouse here in a minute, but we're going to look through all this stuff. Let's see what they got here. Vintage here. Yeah. Colonel Courage had that one as a kid. Oh, these are loose. I want to try to get complete. Life line. Uh, 
they got over here. Dark one in his vehicle. Picked up a dark one the other day. Don't have his vehicle yet, but I'm not in a hurry to grab it either. Quite a few in here. Got another night viper there. That visor peg is broke. I don't know if we can get anything out of here today or not, guys, but still, we got quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff that's good. Got a bat for 120 card. That figure's just going up and up and up. I'll get back to you guys here in just a minute. We'll see if we pick anything up. Alright guys, we're walking back from... We're actually right next to the flea market, but I was just over at another place in town. Went through a bunch of their Joes. Didn't have anything that I really needed. I did find a Shockwave and a uh, Desert Scorpion, but I'm really looking for those complete. So, we're going to pop back into the clubhouse. Kind of striking out everywhere today, but we're going to pop back in the clubhouse and I'll see if maybe I can just pick up something simple or... Maybe we'll just strike out completely today. I don't know. I uh, will see. All right, think about grabbing Airborne here. I've got one at home with no accessories. And I think he's got a broken crotch, if I remember right. So I think I can probably take these two and uh, piece together a good one. I went through all of this stuff multiple times. There's a few things in here I wouldn't mind having. I'm just trying to hold off for a minute. Several things over in there. I'm not going to go through those just for sake of time right now. But I do think I'm going to grab I grab Airborne. I was thinking about him, but I'd like to get him complete because if I get in like that now, it's going to take me forever. So we'll look and see if we can't get airborne and we'll uh, get back to you guys when we get back to the lair. All right, guys, we are leaving the clubhouse. I uh, went through some of the Joes there and I showed you guys that airborne that I was planning on picking up. And I got to looking at it a little bit closer and the crotch on him was had just a slight crack on both sides of it. So I chose not to get that today. Because I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure the one I have at home has a busted crotch. So once I would, there's a chance that when I would go to replace the parts to make uh, one good one, that I with with that airborne already having the cracks, that I may end up busting it also. So I'm gonna wait on that. So unfortunately, I'm striking out everywhere I'm going. But um, I'm gonna go to Walmart and grab a, a few things for dinner, but I'm gonna pop in and see if, see what they got um, in a classified series and see if they had any more of the retro line out. I will uh, get back with you guys as soon as we get to Walmart. Got some his tanks, a couple of his tanks down there. I don't see any of the retro line in here, but classifieds, we got the Baroness. That snake eyes, which I'm just not a huge fan of this snake eyes in Storm Shadow. And then it looks like we got one Lady J. 
So we may go ahead and grab her today. All right, guys, we are leaving Walmart. Um, as you saw in the video, they didn't really have a whole lot. Um, pretty much nothing more than what they had the other day. Um, they are moving things around in this Walmart right now. I need to go check out the other one. I just, I just don't have time today, but um, they're moving, like I said, they're moving everything around in this Walmart, moving the, the toy section back to its old location. So it doesn't look like a lot of the things are out at the moment. But I went ahead and picked up Lady J. I've got her right here. So I'll uh, hit you guys up when we get back to the uh, to the retro lair, and we'll get her out of the box and see how she looks. So see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. We're at the the retro lair. Kind of show you what we got picked up for today. Struck out quite a bit. I uh, went to several stores, hit up Target. Um, unfortunately, the flea market was closed. Um, checked the clubhouse, didn't see anything that we really needed to have immediately. Um, nothing over at um, through the Looking Glass. They had, did have a couple pieces that I wanted, but um, not complete. So they're going to see what they got the accessories and hopefully we can maybe complete those locally and then pick those up. So hit Walmart to try to finish up a little grocery shopping and see what they had. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't have much. Um, but they did have a Lady J, which they had several of these at Target, and I could have just picked it up there, but um, they had one at this Walmart. It's the only one they had, so we went ahead and picked up Lady J and the Classifieds. We'll open it up here um, in just a little bit and give you guys a closer look. But what do you think about Lady J? She's cool. She's pretty cool, isn't she? Mm-hmm. So Demi just picked up a Scarlet uh, for her first G.I. Joe here recently. Um, she played with it in the house quite a bit, and I'm... Um, Surprisingly did not lose anything and now she she stores it out here. So uh, But adding another one of these to the to the collection. So there's Lady J And I actually Still play with her. Yeah, and then we also picked up. I didn't pick this up. Matt actually picked this up when he was out of town uh, Here recently um, He ran across a, a barbecue in the classifieds. Don't see him around here, but um, where he was at he was able to pick one up I'm not going to open this one live today, but I am going to do a video um, soon, um, so be on the lookout for it. We're going to open up Barbecue, pull him out, and kind of do a comparison and review um, in comparison to the original. So I am missing one piece on the original, but um, hopefully I can track that down soon. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. If you have, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys know when we're going to post our next one. But in the meantime, let's... Let's jump in and let's let's open up Lady J and let's check her out. All right, guys, we got Lady J here. Sorry about the glare. Let's pull her out. And from what Matt and I have noticed, we feel like they come out a little easier um, opening from the bottom versus the top. So this is just how we've opened all of them. At least that's how I've opened all of them. All right, guys, we've got Lady J out. I've went ahead and we've taken her knife and we've dropped that down into her sheath here. So we've got that. <clears throat> we did go ahead and switch the hair out. I just think she looks better with the hat on, in my personal opinion. So we've got her with just the hair. And then we can throw the, throw the hat on here. If I can get it to quit. So these little small pieces of hair right on the side are wanting to kind of roll up. There we go. All right, we got our hat on. I did go ahead and put uh, one spear together. We've dropped it down on the ends, on the side of the backpack. And then if you look right here, in the backpack, you got a spot to put another one of these. That just clips in right there. And then this other piece that came with it is actually, if you look, you could put it on here and then she could just, she could handle it. If I could get my fingers to work, you could put this in her hand and she could use it almost like a staff. So I am going to take that off. 
Get it off here. All right, so I went ahead and took that off. And you can actually store it in the back here as well. So go ahead and put her backpack on her. And then essentially, the way that they've got this gun set up is for it to actually almost work like it's a harpoon gun in a sense. So, could take the one in her backpack here, which let's do this. Let's take this one. We'll just make this as an extra. Pop it down in here. But in a sense, you just slide this through. I can be smarter than the figure here. And essentially she's got like a harpoon gun here. Which is kind of cool, but I feel like that'd be hell at re hell on reloading, especially since the extra stuff is in her backpack. I could put the other tip on there so she could just go ahead and it look like she's just action ready, but I'm just displaying her. So I may, may fix that here sh after a bit, but there is Lady J in her glory here. She looks pretty cool. I mean, for not having a ton of accessories and Articulation's good. Hopefully I can find the flint that I was after or we come across a bats and uh, an alley viper soon, but in due time, um, we do have a huge, I think we, we did go ahead and just pre-order wave five because we have such a hard time finding these around here. But there is Lady J all together. So we'll get her to put up with the other classifieds and, and we'll kind of keep looking to see what we can find. All right, guys, thank you for checking today's video out. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Lady J get picked up and unboxed. Uh, be on the lookout for our next video, hoping to, to do a little review on our classified barbecue that we picked up um, in comparison to the vintage. So um, in the meantime, uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we post our next video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys.